Johnny Five here guys and welcome to your drone beginner series. This is drone components explained. The series where you can come to get those beginner concepts because if you are here trying to find out information about how to build a drone, how to fly a drone, how a drone works for the first time, you really need those basics. So stay tuned to this series, go ahead and subscribe below and I will dive into how to <laughs> interpret just all of the components on this drone. Now this um, is a racing drone. It is a Catalyst Machine Works Slam Nasty Frame. And the reason I chose this is because I've taken the top plate off and you can see all of the electronics components very clearly and I'm gonna be going through those for you. Now, you may think that a drone is like your car. And in some ways it is, you know, you have your engine, your transmission, your steering wheel, your pedals, your brakes, et cetera. And all of those go into your driver experience. And if you are a tinkerer, if you are a car guy, if you've worked on your car, if you've built a car, then you may think I should be qualified to build a drone. And you are right. A drone is much simpler than a car in most respects but it still can be a mystery if you don't know how to interpret that information. So let's get started. Let's count all of the individual components in this drone. So we have a frame, you have your motors, you have your electronic speed controller, you have your flight controller, you have your video transmitter, you have your camera, you have your antenna, you have your receiver, and you have your props. So that puts you at nine pieces. Now, if you break those down into systems, it gets even easier, guys. So you could really break it into your power system, which would contain your motors and your electronic speed controller. You can break it down into your video system. That would contain your camera, video transmitter, and your antenna and you can break it down to your flight controller, which is essentially your drone's flight computer, and then your receiver system, and that's what talks to your controller or your radio. So when you break it down to those four groups, it starts to become a lot simpler. Now, where on this particular drone are all those? Well, it's easy to see that you have four motors on each of the four corners. You have a prop on each of those motors and you have wires coming from the motors. Now, where do those go to? Off, you look at the bottom layer right here, that is your electronic speed controller. Now, this is a four-in-one electronic speed controller. That means that you have four ESCs or electronic speed controllers in one board and each of those connects. So each motor will have three wire connections that are soldered. When you're building a drone, you solder these connections here and then you'll have two coming off the back of that same board that provide power. Now this is an XT60 connector. That is the type of connector that will go into your battery. This runs a six cell battery. You can also have a four cell battery that are typically found in the same XT60 size. I also have a capacitor that I've soldered in. Now this will help with voltage spikes and it'll also help isolate and get rid of any video or electrical noise that can pass to your video system. Now on top of that, in this yellow or orange layer, you have your flight controller. That is the computer. So all of the things that interface with that computer solder onto that board. That includes your video transmitter, your video system, feeds video into that board and then you pass video out of that board to your video transmitter. Your video transmitter is found right here. That connects to an antenna that is used to broadcast that signal to your goggles that allows you to see the FPV or first person video feed. Uh, of course, the video captured by that is done by the camera right here at the front. And in order to control the drone or the quadcopter, you have a receiver right here and that receiver connects to your radio or transmitter and allow you to put stick commands in there. So that covers pretty much all the individual components. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe because I'm going to do a deep dive into all these four systems, tell you exactly what the choices on the market are today so that you can stay current. 
tell you what the price points should be, tell you how a little bit more in detail how each of those things work. And, uh, you know, just let's try to prepare you to know whether you should buy or build your first drone. I'll try to go into what skills you need in order to do this. And I'll be making another video on exactly what tools you need to be able to accomplish all of these build procedures right here. So stay tuned guys. Thanks.